<laughs> We're finishing it. <laughs> Sometimes that's the way it is in my house is that I never know if I'm coming or going or, well, okay, I know if I'm coming or going because technically it's the time of day that I see and I have so much time of light that since I've determined to use the porch as my sanctuary for the Lord, you know, to speak through us and maybe share what he would have to say to us and then maybe listen to him and derive some wisdom that he speaks to me, you know, and how you help me to read my devotionals daily that, you know, I enjoy the fact that I wind up recording these in the morning and at night because I'm trying to get them done, you know, in an orderly fashion and to present them as what God would say, you know, I mean, that's literally, he's saying it to me, so if it works for you, then I guess he's, don't want to push you too hard, you know, but he might be speaking to you, <laughs> but I know for myself that the words that come out of my mouth are more applicable to me always than they are possibly to you, and when I listen to them and I hear them being spoken, sometimes it amazes me that the words themselves and the, the voice is mine possibly but what the message is is God's and I'm amazed because it's really talking to me and applying in the circumstances of my life and they fit you know and they I don't know I guess I'm just sharing what I'm going through and you're participating now you do need to realize that if it is God working in you too, then together, you know, he may be speaking to you through my circumstances. Because we are living epistles. We are exactly the word of God, literally, as living and alive as Jesus was the word of God. And as he said, we are sons and heirs and joint heirs with Jesus Christ, that God is writing in us and of us his testimony of love to the world and his salvation. So we have become his epistles. We are his living paperwork, so to speak. We are the word that's living and alive and working in, not just ourselves, but also outwardly to others as we share the word of God and we share what Jesus is doing and we share Jesus and we let Jesus speak through us. And it just blows my mind. <laughs> Set priorities. Your eye saw my unformed substance and in your book all the days of my life were written before ever they took shape when as yet there was none of them psalm 139 16. be determined to enjoy the abundant life that jesus christ desires for you to have the devil will always try to set you up to get upset the busy activities of today's society can make life seem like a blur most people have a lot of stress continuous pressure and they really do too much they really do have too much to do set priorities start your day with god be determined to follow his lead all day all night all day and night and you will enjoy every day of your life not just on weekends vacations or sunny days when the weather's perfect but walking with god will give you pleasure and relaxation even when things aren't going your way man i tell you that's exactly right you know it's just for me the joy of being able to share these things is like the time that I'm going, wow, you know, it's like supercharged bunny rabbit going, inner geyser, inner geyser, inner geyser, you know, and it's just like cool, you know. God is always at work both to do and to will of his good pleasure, as I keep saying it lately, you know, a lot, but he's also with us and in us, and he has become what we are because we no longer live, but Jesus lives inside us, and the life that we live now, we live according to the will of the Son of God, who loved us and gave himself for us. And that's so amazing that, you know, if you really took it to reality, which is what God said to do, then guess who's in you? <laughs> Hello, Jesus in there? Really? I'm serious. Surely you can't be serious. Who, me? But... <laughs> But Jesus is in you, and he's in me, and that's why he's called Emmanuel, God with us and God in us. 
So we can enjoy, even the most ridiculous circumstances we fall into or fail. We can still enjoy it. It's like, well, God, guess I blew it. <laughs> now what are we going to do? And God will get you through it. It doesn't matter if it's pain or suffering or whatever it may be. I've been there, man, big time. You know, there ain't no minor suffering here like broken bones or something. We're talking some serious suffering. But he's there and was there with me, and he's there with me today, and he'll be there tomorrow because he loves me. He's my Lord. He's my friend. And you know, he's my God. Wouldn't you want to spend time with somebody like that? How can you not? He's in you.